Main allegations coming to light against members of the Salt Lake County Republican Party. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Schnee. And I'm Amy Ney. Multiple people coming forward with accusations of sexual harassment. In fact, all seven are women who are running for office. Well, just within the last hour, more than a dozen legislators signing on with a statement calling for the county party chair to resign. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph spoke with one of those women and now joins us live with the full story. Spencer. Yeah, and this all started when the GOP chair of Salt Lake County, Scott Miller, sent a mass email out to Republicans defending himself and Roberts because of the fact that a Salt Lake Tribune article was about to come out with these allegations. Now, all of this making its way all the way to the governor's office, rattling Capitol Hill and lawmakers condemning these allegations. This shouldn't be the behavior that somebody has to be subjected to if they want to run for office. We already have thick enough skins allow us some dignity in running for office. Aaron Preston is an attorney in Salt Lake County, previously running for recorder and is one of those that has become the center of controversy over allegations of harassment involving Salt Lake GOP unofficial communications director Dave Robinson. In comments too vulgar to air, Preston says Robinson on multiple occasions degraded her body and her gender. I think he thought he was originally paying me compliments. I, no, it's not a compliment. Please stop. This is un, inappropriate. But I didn't really speak up until he began making comments about other people. Most disturbing was the denigration of others, just the disparaging comments, um, the graphic sexual comments about men and women. And she's not alone. One of the most graphic described in the Salt Lake Tribune article that started the issue released Saturday. The victim, Lori Stringham, then a candidate for Salt Lake County Council. Took a much firmer tone when Lori uh, had her experience and that's when I went to them and said enough is enough. But nothing was done. Dave Robinson has been in and out of the limelight in Salt Lake County politics, running for mayor against Jenny Wilson previously. He serves in the Salt Lake County GOP, but is only titled officially as a volunteer. Why does he have so much power and control? I don't know. Um, I tried to communicate with Scott Rosenbush, who was the vice chair, and then the chair, Scott Miller. They kept referring back to Dave. They kept deferring back to Dave. But he's been around a while. People are scared of him. The story took a turn Friday before the article could come out with GOP chair in Salt Lake County, Scott Miller, emailing the whole party with comments striking back at the seven women making accusations and it saying, quote, we will not be canceled. Also making specific comments about Preston. I'll just speak to the comments for me. They were designed to make me sound like some sort of whimpering coward or something. Saturday afternoon, the governor stepping up, issuing a scathing statement, saying in part, quote, this type of behavior should never happen, and when it does, we will not tolerate it, ignore it, or explain it away. It is unacceptable. For her, hearing that gives her hope for the future. I was thrilled to hear all of this come out and for them to take that position because so many people have heard this for so long and have said nothing and done nothing. The Republican Party would be better off, just like our entire government, with more women in it. So when asked in this Salt Lake Tribune article, our content partners there, Robinson actually responded to whether he made disparaging comments against women. I'm going to look down because I want to read this correctly. Uh, also saying he has a critical eye from judging horses and livestock, but quote, it doesn't mean that I'm a degrading individual. We've tried to reach out to him ourselves, haven't heard back, but we have heard back from the Salt Lake County GOP uh, that basically is saying that he's been removed moved along with other volunteers that are not working on active campaigns. Miller also actually uh, uh, requesting an internal investigation of the party in Salt Lake County from a third party. In Salt Lake County, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah. Spencer, thank you. Several of Utah's female representatives making a collective statement today saying that these actions, quote, have no place within our party and that they encourage women to step forward and lead in all capacities. Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson posting her thoughts on this controversy on Twitter tonight, saying, quote, I'm heartbroken to learn that women who stepped up to run for political office 
faced harassment and discrimination from people who were supposed to be helping them. It's never okay to normalize, enable, or dismiss this kind of behavior. More reaction now. Utah Republican Party Chairman Derek Brown says the allegations against Miller and Robinson are, quote, appalling and that he wants the county party executive committee to meet to address this to ensure it never happens again. He says, quote, I personally stand for everyone's right to speak openly about your experiences and to do so free from fear of retribution.